Hi! Welcome to the second installment of my I Bet You Are Able To Play This series on drums. Now, what I'm going to show you today is not cool and it'll only impress people like me, but it's tricky and it's great exercise, so check it out. bit of talking now to explain what I'm doing and what I'm going to do here today, right now. So, what I mentioned about this not being cool uh, and uh, f stuff, it's because it's not a beat, it's not like all over the kit and stuff, it's just a technique exercise, a technique uh, control, stick control, all around a pretty good exercise. As long as you have a metronome, uh, as long as you have a, a steady click to go with, because that's essential during this. Now, uh, yeah, what we're gonna focus on today is the snare. Actually, you can play this on why not the hi hat as well. But oh yeah, the snare or the hi hat because it's simply. I'm um, just gonna show you at our starting speed what this is about, and then I'm gonna explain to you unless you don't get it I think you do alright here's the starting tempo is 170 right So that's it. The point of this exercise is to be able to combine three things uh, in playing, which is playing with high control, definite control, and uh, quietly and fast. Because you know, playing, playing uh, slowly and quietly is not a problem. You know, you can go. But as things hit up, as tempo speeds up, I'm a rhyming man, uh, it's a lot harder to control the muscles which result in you going, which is, which is great, but <laughs> yeah, that's natural, you know, when you play fast, you want to play, play loud as fuck at the same time, so you go, That has its uh, cutoffs as well because it's drawbacks. I don't know what cutoff is supposed to mean, but drawbacks are like uh, negative parts as well because you can't, if you tense up and stuff, you can't go as fast because your muscles are like muscles, as if I have any. But yeah, so now that I've made enough incoherent uh, rambling, I'm gonna start taking this exercise up by tempo so we did 170 let me take it up to 185 So a word of caution right away uh, is that, you know, I repeat this exercise 
with, uh, with both hands as the leading hand. I start off with my right hand, and then I do that, and then I switch to leading with my left hand. And uh, so yeah, a word of caution regarding what you're about to witness is that I, my technique in my left hand is nowhere near as good as my right hand because I've never done any, like, uh, I've never done any exercises at all, really. I just started doing this like a month ago or so because I thought that, you know, hey, and I really didn't even start doing it. I just did it like a couple of times. I was like, hey, this is cool. I should start. I should start doing this, but I didn't. So, uh, yeah, the word of advice and caution is that when you're starting to go, when you reach the limit, when you start, uh, when you notice that your tension in your arms start building when you're like, basically when you can see that you're flexing this part of your arm, you know that you're not doing it right, you're supposed to do it relaxed. You're not supposed to tense up at all around these parts, or in the whole arm, for that matter. It's all supposed to be in the wrist, combined with the fingers, which results in great control. <clears throat> so, alright, let's hope that I'm done talking for now, and just gonna focus on playing. I put the tempo to 200, and I figure that I'm gonna try to go up to 250, because that's what I've done this at before, at maximum speed. And uh, so what I mentioned about when your left arm starts cramping up and you feel like you can't do it, like it just this, like it gets messy and stuff, just drop it for now and, and, and focus on getting it to roll well at lower speeds, which is what I'm gonna do now because I'm not gonna embarrass myself by fucking everything up with my left hand because I need to practice a lot more before I can even attempt to go like 250, like without ten tensing up because you know I can do 250 single strokes loud but I can't do it silently because I don't have any fucking control I suck right here it goes uh, 200 Left hand. Lame. Right. Uh, 220. I was thinking doing 220, 240, 250. So this is pretty much what I'm going to show you what happens when I t attempt to do it with my left hand now. But first, right. Alright, what I'm going to do now with my left hand, or what's going to happen with my left hand now, is I'm going to tell you before it happens, because I'm a psychic. Uh, as the tempo increases, so does my volume when I lead with my left hand. Because, as I mentioned, 35 times by now, I get tense. 